What's up guys, TJ here with Snowboard Pro Camp. Today I'm back out at Keystone Resort. We're checking out the 2017 GNU Headspace. And uh, today I'm switching it up a little bit. Instead of just straight lapping, trying to stay consistent, we're gonna hike some features and try to do some more technical tricks for you guys. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Let's check out this board. So there's a lot of really great stuff to know about this snowboard, but there's three main takeaways I want you guys to know from this video. One is that it has a camber dominant profile. Technically it's rocker camber, it's GNU's C3 profile, but it's camber dominant. Second is that it's an asymmetrical snowboard. So it's got a bit of a deeper heel side side cut. So more aggressive carving on your heels, which is a lot of fun. And the third is that it has additional contact points in the side cut. It actually has a seven point magnet traction. So super grippy on all kinds of snow, even on ice. So we got a few little jumps coming up. I'm thinking off the toes, front three, a little grab, and then maybe a back three. One thing on this board, as you just saw coming out of that front blunt 270, it does have some stability in the tail. The camber dominance in this profile gives it some stability in the tip. So even though overall it's pretty playful, it's not too hard to press and do butters with, it still has some stability on landings for you guys. Uh, we just stopped at a really fun trickable rail. It's a flat rail, it's a tube, it's really slick, catch free, and it has a really mellow kind of downslope, almost flat. So it's perfect for trying new tricks on or more difficult tricks where you feel like there's a higher chance of you falling. Man, that was so close. Let's give it another couple tries. First, flex-wise, I'd say this guy is relatively soft. Definitely on the softer side of medium. If I had to put a number on it, I'd say right around a four out of 10. Very similar to some other boards like the Fun Slinger or the Slash Happy Place reminds me a lot of this guy. This thing has been a lot of fun on rails today. Another thing with this camber profile is that it does have a little bit of rocker between the feet. So that actually creates really nice flex zone. So you get some nice tall presses without too much effort. And it also gives a really catch free, slippery feeling on rails. All right, one more trick on this guy and then we're gonna do some follow cams. It's the top of Main Street right now in A51, got a triple jump line. Let's see what we can do. Digging the pop on this thing. The camber profile coming through, providing more than enough pop to ollie onto that skate style feature. on jumps it's uh, definitely a bit soft for a primary jump board it's more of a jib focused snowboard Wise, 
Otherwise, I'd say the side cut is relatively mellow on this guy. Uh, you definitely notice that asymmetrical heel side. It does want to shoot you off more aggressively on your heels. The magnet traction also really helps with edge holds, whether you're on more firm crispy snow or in like groomer or slush. Just has really good edge hold thanks to that magnet traction. I hope you enjoyed this video, you guys. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about this snowboard, check the links down in the description. We've got a link to a full written snowboard review as well as a few other links for you guys to check out. Also, if you got any questions for me, hit me up on Instagram at Board Archive or leave your comment down below. And keep having fun out there, guys. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.